Hello, and welcome to the Community Health Advisor video series. I am Thomas Flodemish, and I will be provided an overview of microsimulation modeling. This general description applies to all of the Health Partners models used in the Community Health Advisor. Microsimulation models are highly detailed analyses involving realistic individuals, but not actual people. Those individuals differ from one another depending on what combination of gender, age, race, ethnicity, and educational attainment they have. The model health microsimulations contain about 14 million individuals whose characteristics reflect the U.S. population. Microsimulation models evaluate the impact of a proposed intervention or policy. In the case of the Community Health Advisor, those interventions involve attempts to influence health behaviors for the better. For instance, what if people smoked less and were more active? These models answer such questions by applying the most rigorous, up-to-date evidence from scientific journals and other credible sources to the individuals in the model. For instance, to examine tobacco use, individuals have the opportunity to start, quit, or continue smoking once a year. Their likelihood of having or changing their smoking status is a combination of their personal characteristics and the risk level that applies to them based on the evidence. The model tracks individuals through their lifetimes to see whether or how long they smoke, what happens to their health, and what medical costs they experience as a result of smoking. The model works by cycling through the lifespan of each individual twice. The first time, the model describes the world as it exists. This is called the base case. The second time, the model changes in only one way, to include the intervention. The same people go through their lives, but this time they are exposed to the intervention, such as a mass media campaign to quit smoking. This may influence whether or when they start or quit smoking. The two sets of results are compared. The difference between the base case and the intervention shows the impact of implementing the intervention. This approach to evaluating interventions most closely resembles a randomized controlled trial, which is considered the gold standard of scientific research. The model health microsimulation models allow people to understand the effects of an intervention on a much longer time frame than a real life study showing the cost, savings, and reduced health burden up to 30 years in the future. The Community Health Advisor website takes those results a step further by allowing site users to specify results down to the national, state, or county level. Our website calculates the results for your geographic area of interest. To our knowledge, this is the first time such sophisticated models have been made publicly available to help policymakers and planners to make evidence-based decisions at the county level. We hope these results provide extra confidence as you choose policies that will increase healthy behaviors and reduce illness and medical expenses over time. We encourage you to explore the Community Health Advisor results and use them to make your community a healthier place today and in the future.